Hey everybody, today we're gonna introduce the fillies to the mules. Well, just one mule. I'm gonna introduce them to Chief. Um, when we got him here four months ago, uh, Chief was the aggressor and Joy was just following suit. So they seem to have uh, gotten along real well and they, they coexist on the fence and they drink out of the water and everything. They're still a little territorial, but uh, I think today's a good day to introduce them. So um, let's see how it goes. So they've been in here about 10 minutes together. I wasn't videoing in case I had a train wreck, but I've got them breaking bread together. And the babies have already shown that they're not gonna take any of his crap. They've already kicked him right square in the chest and got his attention. And uh, he's, uh, he's a little scared of these girls. He, uh, he came over here to get their food and uh, they weren't having any part of it. They'll let the, they'll eat with each other and they'll share with each other, but they're not sharing with him. And that's fine. That's just all part of the pecking order. So when I initially let them out, I was keeping the babies at bay uh, with the whip. And um, I was really just trying to keep the babies from going over there to explore Chief. And I was going to uh, try to get in between them if Chief started pinning his ears and started running. But uh, he didn't do it. He went down there and rolled. And when he went down and rolled, um, he got up bucking. And then he started running real fast. And I kept the girls back with my whip and uh, they stayed with me. But uh, after about a couple of minutes of it, they decided to go over and check him out. And they got along pretty good. So they're doing real well right now, but they're all... I figured if they all broke bread together, that they would um, that they would learn to coexist. I mean, they've been smelling each other and talking to each other over the fence, drinking water and stuff like that. But uh, it's a lot different when you're when you're all in the same pen. I only introduced one mule. Uh, Chief was the super aggressive mule, and Joy, the red mule, uh, was just following Chief's lead. And um, so I figured since he was the aggressive one, I would uh, introduce him first. And they all seem to be doing real well together. The barn isn't done yet, so that's why they're eating out here in the pasture. I know I haven't talked about the barn, but the barn's been sitting idle for about, uh, I don't know, seven weeks or so, but it was all county. And I finally got blessed off um, last week at the end of last week and um uh actually started the stalls yesterday so hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll be done with the stalls and uh i'll be feeding everybody over there the babies will be uh nine months old this weekend today is uh december the 9th and one will be nine months on the 11th and the other one will be nine months on the 13th. And then Chief, he's about 15. He needs his mane roached. I've kind of been leaving it long. Chief, you just saw he kind of like said, whoa, let me get out of here. The baby's hard to tell, but they're they're a lot bigger than him. And uh, he actually cowered his tail. He actually cowered his tail and turned to run from him. I thought he was gonna turn to kick him. But uh, he's, uh, he's intimidated by these girls, which is good. That's why I have not introduced them yet because I wanted the babies to be bigger so that when the babies came in here and they saw him, they were like, remember us? You kicked our butt when we first got here three months ago, four months ago. But uh, you're not doing it anymore. 
So they've gotten enough size and weight on him now to where, where he's intimidated by him. He's a good old mule though. Pretty bay with sorrel on the bottom with a big old long mane, about 14 two tall. And the babies are, I think they were 15 one when I measured them, but they're, uh, they're growing quick. Gene just told Grace, you better get away. But they're filling out nice. Their, their butts are growing and their, their guts have filled out and their ribs are gone. You remember when I first got them, you could see their ribs a little bit, but their, their butts are starting to grow. So their butts will grow the first year and then their, their front end will catch up to them the second year. They're just big old puppy dogs, all they are. And they do not like their oats in a bucket. They like their oats on the ground. And Chief, he's only, I don't know, less than 10 feet away. And he's got his ears back, but they're not pinned. He's just listening. See, look, he's stepping away because she's coming over to exert dominance, which I'm glad. I don't... I don't have to worry about uh, these girls not being able to take care of themselves. Well, that worked out well. I'm pleased with how they're getting along. Next, we'll introduce Joy, but uh, we'll wait on that one. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about them, but I'm gonna stay here with them. And I gotta run to Home Depot and get some more lumber for the stalls. But uh, the girls are definitely going to be able to fend for themselves, so I don't, I'm not going to have to worry about Chief harassing them. So Gene's over there uh, checking him out. Let's see what happens here. Hey, hey, knock it off. Wanting all the attention. She's just following them around. They're not doing too much. But he's definitely not gonna show his butt. She's gonna show him who's dominant. So next we'll be working with trailer loading. I've already got the trailer positioned over here next to the pasture. And uh, we'll be getting them uh, used to going on and off the trailer. So I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.